Hey guys, welcome back. So today we've got a few things to do and one of them is gonna be using this DeWalt pole saw. I, I picked one of these up because I already had the DeWalt battery system. So to me it just, it made sense to just go ahead and buy one of these over a gas powered one because I could pick this up, I think for less than $200 um, without any batteries because I already had any, I already had some. So. Um, to pick up like a pole saw from still like my dad has um, that I borrow from him and I've shown that in a few videos um, that thing's probably gonna cost you five six hundred dollars just to just to get one um, and uh, this was way cheaper so it just kind of made sense so I think it's just got an eight inch chainsaw blade on there and the point of using this is to clear for the tractor right so that I can drive underneath stuff having the cab tractor now you can see that I'll be able to easily um, cut any limbs that are that are higher than the tractor and make some clearance. So I think this is going to work out just fine. It also ends up being fairly light considering um, it's just battery powered. You don't have a gas engine on here. So it seems like a good alternative to use. I've got these uh, four, what are they, four amp hour batteries. I think I've got like four or five of these. So I've got plenty, I think, to be able to run this thing all day long if I wanted to. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna trim some trees around the property where I normally drive the tractor. And then also Randy is coming over today. And Randy's the guy who helped us get the pigs. Uh, the last couple of years he picked, when he bought his pigs, he bought me a couple at the same time and then I went and picked it up, up from him. And he asked me about our old chicken coop that looks like an old barn. Um, and uh, well, I told him we didn't use it anymore and he could have it. So he's coming over today and I think we're gonna be loading up the old chicken coop so that he can take that home with him today. So that's the two things we're doing today. So let's go ahead and get started. Well, I guess before we get started, I got one more little thing to do. You can see these rocks. I put those in the ballast box the other day when we were building the fire pit out by the pond and they were supposed to go around the fire pit. So let's take these down there and we're gonna add these to the fire pit real quick and then we'll go start trimming some limbs. All right, we got the rocks shoved into any gaps around the fire pit, just kind of filling in some voids. And if we find any more stones over time, we'll just go ahead and add a few more to this. I think it'll look good. But uh, the way it is now, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. All right, let's go grab the pole saw and trim some limbs. So I think for my first try, we're gonna try the shorter configuration. I'm gonna leave the extension out of it. And I think just with it short, if I reach up like this, which wouldn't be real easy on your arms anyway, but I can still lift higher than the tractor. Um, so over here, I've got a few limbs on this side of the tree that I drag the tractor on every time I drive to drive through. So I'm gonna try to cut those off. I'm gonna try to cut the the bottom of the limb first, just put a, a small cut in the bottom and then I'm going to try to cut through from the top. We'll see how that works out. When I put the extension on it, got pretty high pretty quick.
Well, I think I've cleared as many limbs as I need to. That's, those are the places where I drive through with the tractor the most. And I'm always rubbing those limbs on the, on the side of the tractor. They hang down low enough that they rub down the side. And I'm always rubbing the mirrors, the side mirrors on it. I'm afraid I'm gonna bend up one of the mirrors. Some of those limbs were pretty big. Um, I'd say the biggest one that we cut down today was probably about a four inch diameter. And, and this thing did well on it. Um, definitely not as powerful as a gas engine. It does bind a little bit. Every once in a while it'll get caught and it'll stop and you gotta pull it out and restart all over. But uh, overall, um, I think it's gonna work for what I need to do. It comes apart in like three pieces. I can stow it in the back of the tractor really easy and just take it around anywhere with me. So I think it's gonna work out pretty good for, for me. So let's go ahead, we're gonna use the grapple on the tractor. We're gonna pick up all these limbs that we cut up and throw them on the burn pile. Then we're gonna move on to the chicken coop, which is just down here next to the firewood pile. We're gonna start taking that apart because we're gonna actually try to load that. I think we're gonna load it on a trailer today. So right here's the chicken coop we're talking about. See, it looks like a little barn. Had some clean outdoors on this side, egg box on that side. And then we ended up attaching this weird structure to it so that we could keep the chickens locked up and no predators could get to them. So it looks, it looked pretty ratty when we actually incorporated it into a run. Um, but the chicken coop itself actually looked kind of neat by itself. So you got a, got a little ramp here for the chickens to get up into the coop. And my understanding is they're going to come and take this little barn. And it is just sitting on some concrete blocks. It is not in the ground. I actually built this back at our house in the garage, and then I brought it out here. So I know I brought it out here then. I ought to be able to pick this up and load it on a trailer. So uh, I think the latch is broken on that door that we'll need fixed. But uh, I think what we got to do is we got to detach this run. So I need to go get a drill. We're gonna start taking this roofing off of here and see if we can separate the run from the coop. That way it's ready to load when Randy gets here.
All right, we got the old chicken coop pulled out of there. I didn't think I was actually gonna get that done before Randy showed up. I think Randy's coming with his, his son today. I think they're both coming to get that chicken coop. They should be here any minute. Well, I can say I'm not real happy, I guess, with the condition that the chicken coop is in. We built this early 2016, so this is, oh man, six years old already. So uh, it does have a little bit of rot in places. Like right here, this is where the ramp went on, went on and moisture got trapped behind there and that rotted right there. And you can see like this door, you know, it's starting to rot. So, I mean, there's several places that's, uh, you know, starting to go bad. So this, this plywood here is not treated. It's just, it's just that barn plywood, it's regular plywood and, and it's painted to protect it. And obviously, um, you know, that's not gonna hold up to the test of time. Um, but, uh, you know, most of it is sound. I think the interior is sound. Uh, this door is bad. It's gonna have to be replaced or fixed or patched or something. So since the hinge, this latch here, this latch here attached right here, it's broken off. And uh, this door was sitting in the dirt and it caused the top of that door to basically rot off. You can see I tried screwing it shut with some screws to hold it in, but you can see some of the screws are going right through it. It's that soft. So overall, I mean, I, I think it's a good sound coop for a few more years. They'll have to need a, a few repairs, but uh, it worked good for us for probably what? The first four years, four, three to four years we used this coop. And now I guess somebody else will get some use out of it. So me and Rebecca had talked about tearing this thing down like a week ago. And it's funny that Randy had, had messaged and asked about this because uh, yeah, we just talked about we were probably gonna tear this down. Now we built this fairly secure. This, this wire actually goes down and into the ground. And then there's a row of concrete blocks as well. So you can see, I don't know if you can see, there's a row of concrete blocks there and then the wire actually goes down into the dirt. So it's really hard for animals to be able to dig under and get in this chicken coop. It was very secure. We did have a mink. A mink got in here and killed about half our chickens one time. And that's been the only time that anything ever got in there. And um, I can't remember where we thought it was, but a mink can get through a hole, you know, that's about the size of a quarter. They can get in some pretty small places. All right, Randy and his son Matt is here and uh, they brought their trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and load up the chicken coop, see if we can get that in the trailer. And then I think, uh, I think we'll just walk around and, and visit the rest of the day. So that's probably gonna be the end of the video. So thanks for watching guys.